Robert, uh, we've got a call field in politeness to step up in the 1,000 guineas prelude over 1,400 metres, coming off some uh, two good wins. Yeah, her, her wins in the provincial have been super impressive, really, and she gets up to the tougher grade. She's always showed good ability. In the autumn, we thought a lot of her, but she didn't get it together as a two-year-old, and maybe we didn't, maybe she wasn't mature enough, maybe we didn't handle her properly. We're riding her differently, riding her off the speed. She does lose focus when she hits the front. She showed us that in her last couple of runs when she's won. So we're going to put winkers on her on Saturday. She's worked in them. And Ben Malham rode her this morning and thought that she it was, it had a, a positive effect on her. So we'll go with the winkers on Saturday. She's really well in herself. I think she's got the ability. It's just whether it all comes together and she can handle the pressure. Obviously, if it all does come together, you obviously give her the tick to uh, go to the 1,600 metres and obviously the 1,000 guineas. Yeah, she'll... Ideally, she'll go from Saturday to the manifold and then over 1,600. And the, the, the thousand guineas is her ultimate aim. Um, you know, I think she's got the raw talent if, if all the other factors, uh, all the other variables come together. So pretty happy with her. She'll, she's there to run very well Saturday, but she's still got improvement in her. We've been pretty kind in the way we've trained her, trying to extend her right through the spring if that's possible. And we got a Shamel win and uh, trialled nicely the other day. And uh, how's it looking? Yeah, she did trial well at Cranmer. She shaded Bell Sprinter, but he had a, a good bit in hand. But nonetheless, I thought it was a good trial. She's done well. The last month, she's sort of really improved. The coat's coming away. It's not quite there yet, but I'll probably put Jackie Berryman on her and claim two kilos. So she gets in very light and she can run a cheeky race fresh. But again, the... Uh, other aims further into the spring at group level that we've got for her so she will while she can run well she can definitely improve on whatever she does Saturday. Obviously her first up form she's two from two and going into 1100 metre handicap uh, she's obviously got a lot of improvement over here but she could run a pretty good race come first up. Yeah she can run a decent race but I mean her, her first she won a maiden in the first start and then last prep she won a restricted fillies race at Mooney Valley so she's going into a, a deeper race this Saturday than what she's gone first up in the past but she's you know, she's probably 85%, so she'll run a... a I think the two kilos of her back getting her in that light will, will help her too, so she'll she'll run uh, run really well, um, but she, she does improve, I'm sure, off the run. Go the knuckle joins alongside this stable mate and was also in the same trial. What would you take from that? Yeah, he's, he's ticking over quite well. Um, he's a horse who is paying the price of his Group 2 win as a three-year-old where he puts him high up in the ratings and... He's got 57 and a half on Saturday. Makes it tough. Um, he's sort of in that in-between grade where he's, um, he's in limbo a bit, but it's the handicap uh, is, is what, what makes it hard for him. But he's taking over pretty well. Now you've got Electric Fusion. Had a trial uh, before and then obviously going into a 1,400 metre handicap this Saturday. Coming off a winter prep where he ran second in the Queensland Derby, so he only had a sort of brief let-up after that. He's pretty forward, but I would think you'll be looking at uh, something a little bit further um, in a run or two's time. 1,600 to 2,000 seems to be his best best journey and uh, you'll get to see that after Saturday. Just a nice race to freshen him up, obviously looking over long distance then. Yeah, good kick-off point for him, I think. And uh, he's, do you see his peak going to you know, a mile and a half where he was very good and strong in the uh, Queensland Derby? Yeah, and he's, he's, he was good that day, but I, I personally think his best trip will be around about the 2,000 metre mark. Any nice races lined up for him that you can see at the moment? Yeah, there's a couple of options and probably heading through to, uh, to Cup Week at Flemington uh, will be his ultimate goal. And your best for the weekend out of the lot? I guess uh, politeness has got, to, has got to get the tick there.